This is a demonstration on how to create your very first custom workout routine in using the Forceboard system. So I'm going to open up the Forceboard app. This is a fresh user install of this app, and you can see I've got the feed screen here with a mini tutorial on it showing the different things I can do, the settings screen, profile, workouts, and then the feed screen. This is where your workouts show up. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a custom routine is go to my settings, and I want to to link into my account the equipment that I have. So the equipment that I want to use is the flashboard. So I'm gonna choose this, tap on the flashboard and choose link. So that has just added it to my system. So there you can see my, uh, get rid of that search, done. There you can see my equipment at the very top of the list and that did the generic hold is just something you can use for any, any kind of grip you'd like. The tension flashboard is sitting there also. You can unlink it if you wish to, but I'm not gonna do that. Right now I'm gonna go back to the feed screen and then click on the workout screen. So here's a list of all the workouts that I could choose to do. In the last demo, we chose the quick start and you could use these pro routine templates, but I am going to choose create a custom routine and I'll call this just my first routine. Then um, I'm not gonna add a description right now. I'm gonna do one hold and one set per hold, and let's do two reps per each set. I'm gonna make this five seconds long with a, let's choose five seconds rest in between, and I only have one set, but for completeness we need to add this as well, so I'm gonna do a 10 second rest between sets. That start stop threshold is the value with which uh, you the pull force you have to exceed or go below to start or stop a rep. From there, I'm gonna choose holds, swipe to the left, and you can see I've got the flashboard in there. Now there's two ways you can move the little hands onto the grips that you would like to use. You can tap and hold, and the hands will move with your thumb as you move around, and you can choose the hold that you like, or double tap is the other way to do it. Um, I'm gonna customize this name just a little bit and call it a uh, 20, millimeter, four finger, half crimp. There we go. 20 millimeter and then hit submit. There is my first custom routine. If you tap on the three little buttons, you can edit that if you'd like to or deactivate it. That's not what I want to do right now. Instead, I want to actually tap on it right in the center and it goes to your confirm holds page. You can modify the holds here if you'd like to as well, and you can set a target load. I'm gonna choose a target load of 100 pounds. So this is, if I exceed meet or exceed that 100 pounds, then I get visual and audio, audio feedback for that, and then I will click start session. I save the routine. It's connecting to the force board, which it just accomplished, and there you can see at the top of the screen, we call this the do session page. I have the hold there, my target load, and then a sets and reps counter in the middle. Uh, my, my force chart that isn't showing up just yet, and then at the very bottom, the timers. So the next thing I need to do is a five second timer. So the, I'm gonna start to pull on this device. And then you can see the timer is counting down in seconds. I haven't exceeded my target, so I, the, and you'll see the difference between exceeding your target or not here in a second. Now I'm going through the rest period. Now if I pull a little bit harder so I do exceed the target, you can see that the middle bar turns green and the pitch of the beeps is higher. So it gives you both audio and visual feedback that you've exceeded that target load. Then uh, click on some notes. Good session. Oops, good, not God session, good session. And we're recording temperature and humidity and hit save. And here you can see there it shows up. So there's my first routine showing up right there. And that's what we did. So each session shows up on this feed screen in succession. There's creating your very first custom uh, workout routine using the force board system.